Good evening, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. Um, we, this is a continuation of a previous uh, video I made of improvements uh, to this DMF 42 geared head mill drill tapper. Um, I showed in the, in the previous one, I can't remember the exact video but you can see it on my YouTube channel, um, of all the different features of this, uh, this machine. They, Apart from just regular drill mill, it's got a Morse, a Morse 3 um, taper, it's got a draw bar arrangement and what I want to show you is, is actually what the changes I've made to make some improvements together with help from, uh, from friends. Um, the first one is we've added on a, let's see if we can turn that around, um, just release that off. Turn that around. We've, we've, added, we've added on the shaft. What I've done is, is the drawbar, hollow part of the drawbar, I drilled and tapped into the drawbar and, and made up this shaft with a set of uh, magnets in it, so uh, permanent magnets. There's a slot in the side, uh, and then glue, those magnets are glued in. And as that goes up and down, and it's, it, we're getting a pickup to the speed. So if we, if we Started, it picks up the speed, and anywhere as I move that down, it's picking up the speed of the uh, of the machine. So that's um, that was one improvement we made and set up. We also this is three phase, four fifteen volt. Uh, we changed that to uh, three phase, four fifteen with a single phase, uh, um, a neutral. And, and we set up a single phase because here in Australia we run 240 volt single phase and, three, and 415. So we put up a, a, um, a double socket at the top here which gives us power for the, read, uh, for the readouts and other things and the lamp on the machine. Um, and I've done that on all my machines. So those that are only the four wire I've changed them to five wire. So there's uh, three core and earth and, uh, and a neutral. Um, so that was the second item that I've put in there. So that gives me power. And the reason for this is I don't like power coming from two sources to a machine. We've got one, if we turn off the power to the machine, it turns everything off. Um, and so we, we're avoiding a possibility of the potential danger of having power coming from two sources. Um, the, the next thing we did was so we made a, a readout for the quill and this is a very simple arrangement these are very easy to to come by um, and that works in metric and imperial um, and it's just connected to the quill nut the adjuster nut that we've got here that this um, bolt runs it comes down and it, and it engages in a micro switch inside and when that when that happens it it turns off the machine or it reverses in the tapping. So when you're in tapping condition, when the, you set you, you preset that, that drop point and then when it hits that it reverses out so you're tapping out. Um, the machine itself, um, the geared head and everything, I haven't touched that at all. It's still the same with the fine uh, fine adjustment or, or the mechanical adjustment. The, the next thing we've done um, is the, the, the issue with when you crank the handle up to lift this head up and down, uh, it just always wanders backwards and forwards and sideways. So I've come up with a product, I've designed it, I'm selling it, called the True Line 8. And that features on this type of mill or on uh, the second, the RF style mills, which we've got on the side here. And these are the very common mills of all different sizes, made by Rong Fu originally. Uh, this particular one was made in 1993. Um, and, um, so, and I've featured this in a couple of videos. We've also featured it with uh, JB in, in Oz. Um, and uh, we made one, he's got a very, very similar machine. We showed how that, uh, that, that was all fitted up. He himself has made videos on uh, how much how accurate it is in keeping this in a true line but we'll go back to the uh, DMF um, and 
this works slightly different than the other one insofar as the bar is attached both top and bottom in the column so that's static with the column and we have a, a bush here which is a self-lubricating um, high density polyethylene bush that uh, is, gets attached to the head to the back of the head um, and, and as, the, as we raise and lower the head uh, th that um, makes sure that it, can, it, it stays in the same perpendicular line so you've got repeatability when you say working on a, on a, a pilot drilling and then you've got to, then you've got to put in here uh, a longer drill and then you maybe put a longer drill or a ream or something so you've got to raise the head up and the, and the biggest bugbear with these round uh, round uh, column units are that you can't uh, articulate it to the same perpendicular spot so that's what this um, uh, what this true line eight does for us this kit a secondary item come out of that was to be able to mount a DRO on on this kit so we can actually measure uh, or adjust or set the heights that we want so if you want to set down here at a, a particular height you zero you can zero that in and uh, and then take it up to a new height bring it back down to that zero again and you know you're, you're in line you've got repeatability um, the last thing that I've added on was this twin reader which is um, um, picks up from the reader on the uh, on the vertical scale, which we call the uh, the Z scale, and the, the and the vertical scale on the quill, which we call the K scale, uh, irrespective of what's written here. So basically, that's the that's the Z and that's the K, and it can simultaneously show you both because. When you're working here, you, 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 or you, you're cranking the handle to raise or lower the um, the head, you can't see see that one, but you can see this one. So this gives me the height. So we can say, well, we want to crank this up to a certain height. We can we can zero that in, um, and so we we know so we can set the zero. It picks up zero that is there. Uh, the drill quill might have been down at such and such a point as well. We've zeroed the, the battery needs replacing. So we've, we've got zero, zero on, on there and then if we, we crank it down, we, we're getting a measurement. I can see I'm going down to uh, say 30 odd mil, I'll bring it up a bit, 30 mil. And then I want to go back to where I was before so I just crank it. I can crank that up till I come back into the zero point. Um, so that's a, an added value to the True Line 8 kit. And um, with the, so that, that's the kit, this is kit B. This is actually more, the, the B model, which is for uh, the geared head type of drill mills. Whereas the A style, uh, mounts mounts here. <coughs> it has the same clamp, exact same clamp, clamps on, uh, but that clamp has the bush. Well, here we are. So this this is the clamp arrangement, and that clamps on, and then the, we have an angle bracket uh, that gets bolted to here, and the beam comes down, and the beam moves with the head as against the beam being static on the other model, and. Um, there we go. Can you see that all right? Okay. So this, this is the integral part of the um, of the of the, the unit. Now, in this case, we bolted around. It's got a slot there to go over the um, uh, go over the rack, and then we line everything up, set it all up, drill up, and tap the holes. Uh, in the and I don't have a bracket here, but. We drill and hold, put the taps in, which shown on, on both our videos, uh, or previous videos. <coughs> and, uh, and fundamentally, that then allows the Rong Fu, the simple uh, mill drill style, which there are many, many of them around, to be able to tram it up and down in a, in a plane. And the added value of being able to put on a DRO 
for measuring the, um, the Z, uh, Z movement. Um, there are two, um, there's two fundamental diameter uh, of, the, of these uh, columns. Being that they are made in Asia, so they're 115 millimetre, which is four and a half inch, and 92 millimetre, which is about 3.3 inch. Um, and then the, the, so they're the two different sizes that we, uh, that we make the kits for. That, um, and the, um, the other difference that can be between these machines is the length of the column. Um, most of these columns will give about a 12 inch movement, a 300 millimetre of, move, of effective movement um, between, say, this one here that's jacked up to its full height uh, down to a point where you, you're touching the, the table, basically you can't get a tool in there. So, and they, they, so that's effectively uh, the height, the working height, and that's the height I need to be able to make the correct beam to go with the, with each one of these kits. Kits are available um, from um, you can just send through request to um, uh, to my channel, uh, Bruce Get Her Out at uh, gmail.com that's bruce get her out one word at gmail.com uh, it's also on my website and uh, um, and i'm selling them into america us us i should say uh, europe uh, australia um, so that's um, that's it that's our true line eight our true line eight Designed and built here in Australia by myself. Thank you for watching.